Hey guys, Frank Cox here, SmokerBuilder.com. I'm in the new studio, HQ, training center, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're calling it Smoker Builder HQ. And uh, this is our very first video. Uh, Casey's holding the camera. And uh, we're going to do a video real quick on the first welder we bought for this new studio. Uh, this is a Blue Demon welder, and I'm pretty impressed with this machine. I chose this one for a couple of reasons, but what I want to do is an unboxing video about this machine, kind of tell you why I think that this machine is a great option for you if you're just getting into building smokers, and this is your first big purchase for your new shop. So take a sip of coffee real quick. All right, so this is the MSTI 200, this welder is. It's an inverter machine, which basically just means that's how the power source works. Um, the thing about the biggest thing about this machine that I like, first of all, it's dual volt. So that's really going to be helpful because a lot of you guys may not have 220 available in your shop. The second thing about it is, is that it's a multi-process machine, which means instead of you having to go out and buy like a MIG welder and a stick welder, and eventually if you want to do TIG welding, you don't have to buy three separate welders. We're gonna be able to do everything with this one machine. The third thing is, is everything comes in the box. So when you go out and buy a multi-process machine, a lot of times the bigger expensive brands, uh, the more advanced like, you know, what I would use in a manufacturing shop or uh, a, a more productive environment, uh, those machines are gonna be able to do those processes but you're gonna to have to buy those TIG torches separately and some of the other guns. It may or may not come with a MIG gun, for instance. So, uh, but this thing comes in the box, ready to go with all of that stuff in there. So anyway, um, I didn't, oh, this is open, but I didn't open it. It arrived over at Tom's shop the other day and Tom and Seth couldn't help themselves. They had to check it out first, you know? So anyway, they got to look at it. No one's fired it up yet, it's not been put together. So. This is my first impression. So let's see what we got here. I know that I watched all the videos online and I was really impressed. Uh, there's a couple of really good videos on YouTube of uh, you know just how the machine performs and stuff like that. Uh, we'll be doing those videos ourselves as well. So let's go. So got some foam in there. Let's get all that out of here. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing here inside the box is everything's wrapped up all by itself. It's been enclosed in plastic, so we know that there's not been a bunch of spiders or something in there getting around. Hasn't had any moisture on it, I like that. Um, all the different whips. Here's your gas hose, right there. Looks like it's a uh, 3 8 uh, flare, that's what that is. That's gonna hook up to your regulator and to the back of the machine. Here's the TIG torch. Uh, I don't know what kind of TIG torch this is yet, because I can't really tell. But uh, once we get everything put together, we'll look into that. Um, one thing that I really do, I, I've seen in the literature and I really do like this, is I've always liked a Tweco MIG gun. And that's what this machine has. This is a Tweco gun. Um, the, the tips are super easy to get. Uh, everything pretty much just, you know, threads on. Uh, you can keep this, this, you can get parts for this easy. Pretty much every welding store has a liner for this gun. Anyway, it's a really good machine so far. It looks like it's got the longer tips in it. Um, I went ahead and tried to buy some Tweco tips, but it looks like this is a heavier gun than I thought it was. I thought it was a light duty gun, but uh, it's got these longer tips. So that's gonna be a, a better gun, I think. Um, anyway, that's your MIG gun. So we got the TIG torch, we got the MIG gun, and we got our electrode here. This is the ground. Here's the electrode holder right here for stick welding. Anyway, these things, they have tips on them. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Your electrodes have like a tang that you push in and tighten it like this. So you can change these things out in a heartbeat. I really like that. And uh, I don't do a whole lot of stick welding, but I'm sure I'm going to give this thing a run. Anyway, here's your ground clamp. Uh, pretty standard ground clamp on here. Uh, it does have an eyelet on it, so you can literally unbolt this. You can just take this nut off of there and you can get a heavier uh, ground clamp or if you want like a magnetic or some kind of a clamp down ground, you can change that out. I do recommend, like this ground is good enough to get started with, but I kind of do recommend changing that up a little bit as you get into uh, heavier duty cycles and stuff. Okay, what else we got? Okay, here's our power cord. This is the adapter. 
So these machines anymore, I'm not sure about this one, we're gonna try it out. But these machines, it usually is just as simple as just putting a different adapter on and plugging it in. A lot of times it'll automatically switch over so you don't have to like undo wires and move stuff around and change jumpers and things like that usually, but we'll find out. Um, I do like it that it comes with this right out of the box. Um, I've seen other ones, I think like the Miller 211 uh, on the auto set machine, there's like a twisty plug thing. That always breaks, I hate that. But since you got a good, a regular standard, you know, like a 50 amp or whatever welding plug like you have in your shop, right here, that, or 30 amp, whatever that is. Anyway, that's a good plug right there. You can get that anywhere. So I like that a lot. What's this thing? Okay, that's the end of the machine. All right, let's go ahead and get this welder out here and see what it looks like. Looks like we got some more stuff in the box still. Blue Demon right there. Here we go, here's the front. Now this display, um, I'm not gonna turn it on for this video, but this display is awesome. So you can literally just set it for the thickness that you're gonna weld, right? It's, it's, uh, it's a really intelligent machine. Here's all the connectors. So uh, you've got your positive and negative, you've got your, for your MIG feed. Um, you've also got the connector here. I'm pretty sure that's for uh, uh, the trigger on your gun. Anyway, so there you go. Pretty happy with it. These buttons right here, you know, you got push and dial and all that stuff. I think for the uh, for the money, this is a really, really good machine for you to start out with. Let's open up, see what the wire feed looks like. So it looks like you got a wing nut here on your spool holder. There's a tab on here so it keeps your, your roll from freewheeling. Um, looks like it's got a pretty good little, there you go roller assembly. It's grooved on the bottom. It looks like you can set it for two different sizes of wire, kind of like uh, the Millers and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. If you're getting your shop started on a budget, um, this whole thing comes in the package with everything here, including the gate, the uh, regulator. I forgot to show you that. Here's the regulator. Including the regulator and all the torches, it's like $798 retail. It's the MSTI 200 uh, you can, it's pretty hard to find on the internet for sale. You can give me a holler if you want. Just message me or email me, uh, admin at smokerplans.net. Or you can uh, go to Amazon and you can get it on there. Uh, I don't remember. I know they got a good deal on the shipping because uh, Amazon Prime and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I do uh, really like this machine. I think it's a great place for you to get started. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you want to find more information like this, stay tuned on our channel. You can subscribe. Uh, just hit that little thing is down here somewhere. And then you can also go up there somewhere and hit the little bell. And uh, what that bell does is it notifies you every time I post a new video. And uh, anyway, we're going to start doing videos about these kind of things as we set HQ up for the training center and also for our own projects. So anyway, stay tuned and I hope you have a great day. Keep your smoke thin and blue.